Hey guys, here I am with another video and this time I'm going to show you a little fix for those of you who use CCleaner on the Mac. But this won't work with the PC version of CCleaner. But this is for those of you who use CCleaner on the Mac and you install the, later, the newest version or update to the latest version of CCleaner and it acts for the admin password. And you, or sometimes if you update to the newest version and you have it and you have that little fix and it an acts for the password one time but as a way you can actually get around to that so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our system preferences go into privacy and security make sure you go to the privacy section and you want to make sure your Mac is unlocked to make any type of changes and Just enter your admin password and you should see CCleaner should be automatically checked since we're under automation. If you go under auto, then you want to go to full disk access and make sure you have CCleaner enabled. But if it's not present, what you want to do is click that little plus sign and And you can select it from your applications category. But once you make the changes, then you want then you want to go ahead and lock your um, Mac back to where you had it. So then we'll go ahead and open up CCleaner. But mine ain't gonna ask for the password because I already have it enabled. But if you install the newest version and ask for a password one time, it's really no big deal. Because once you use it again, it's not going to ask anymore. As long as you make sure it's still enabled through your privacy and security settings and system preferences. And I'm going to show you guys a little demonstration of how well it works. and a little short demonstration of what you should expect to, for CCleaner. When you're using CCleaner on the Mac, my tongue got a little twisted, but uh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and close on out of that and end the video from here and hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.